there's no, no surprises here. It, um, but Jund is also very surprising just in within a stock list. Whole bunch of ones and twos that very much are wildly different. Like, yeah, you might think that like Bonfire of the Dam and Mizzy Mortars serve similar roles, but they play way differently. Yeah, and Joey seems like a, a very practiced, very well uh, practiced player with the deck. And we are underway. So, so we have, um, I was going to, uh, making two land drops. Both players making their first two land drops, but no actual uh, spells. Yeah. Until dice is being trapped. No, yeah, usually the, the blue-white based control deck wants to uh, sit there and think twice and think twice again. Not this one. This guy, he wants a Geist of Saint Trapped. Alright, uh, so think of uh, Geist of Saint Trapped and card I want to look for in John to uh, handle Geist of Saint Trapped. Well, Liliana of the Veil vale would be a good answer. Unfortunately, Joey can't cast it with this man. Also, one copy only. Yes. So, uh, Joey is, his draw <laughs> does not look very good. No, let's, uh, be, let's be honest. I'm uh, looking for edict effects beyond Liliana, and there's nothing. Just a bonfire. He of the can damage. bonfire, not an edict effect, but he can bonfire. Yeah. So a putrefy for the angel. So this is just a gain for life. Uh, he has, Joey has very plenty of these. He has a putrefy, a Jeruk primal hunter. He cannot cast a bonfire of the damned. That will not do much. A tragic slip that doesn't do much. Another, Another tragic, tragic slip, slip that doesn't also do doesn't do much. Uh, Joey's draw is abysmal. To say and the least. Uh, here you, you also see one of the big weaknesses <clears throat> of Jund is its uh, potentially shaky mana. And you see, he's you know he's got access to all three colors. That's excellent, but he doesn't have access to two of any color. Mm -hmm. And so he can't cast Liliana. He can't cast Bonfire. Uh, you know, it's, there you go. There you see an abrupt decay for the Angel, and again just a game four. Is the thing about John is much better of a game two and three deck once you can uh, tweak your deck to uh, fit like what you need the right type of cards. Mm -hmm. Joey's drawn all of his terrible game one cards, but he's still in this game right now. He, so far, he's just been hit with a gray ogre. I mean, that gray Twice. ogre happens to be also making him discard a card every turn, but uh, yes. <laughs> he's been getting hit by an abyssal specter every yeah, turn. It's, it's, he's at 16, he's still in this, and right. here comes Geist with the angel. Joey uh, gonna take it all this time, I think. So if Joey go can uh, draw another land, um, not a ton of counter spells, only two syncopates and a dissipate uh, to protect his Geist from uh, Bonfire of the Damned. But now Joey's actually his draw. He's, he's got Garrick. Runner on our lands. He can Garrick or Bonfire of the Damned. Yeah. Uh, I don't think. I think that's a Putrefy. I don't think that's. Uh, that's a very good option for Joey. Yeah, that's a Putrefy mm. there. So I think it's one of his five mana cards, either Garruk, Primal Hunter, or Bonfire. I would go with Bonfire. Yeah, just to. I mean, Alex has played literally one spell. Yeah, and just like under the gun, like. Who knows, Alex's draw could be terrible as well. Right. We just haven't seen his hand as much as we've seen Joey's hand. How many hand. Geists does Alex have? All of them. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, so uh, he could he could have a backup Geist. He could just yes. be... Uh, you have Snapcaster Mage? Yeah. Is like, how many swords do you have? It's like, oh, this is very unlikely to uh, resolve. But uh, decent amount of burn spells in Alex's deck. Uh, three Pillar Flame, three Searing Spear, two Turn and Burn, two War Leaders, Helix. It's gonna go with the Bonfire as you, uh, as you suggested. So, uh... Joey's spending three cards to deal with that one Geist, and in the meantime, taking, taking ten. ten damage. But, no, I mean, took two damage from that Bonfire of the Dam, so it's, it's all worth it. Oh, yeah, it could be. So, Alright, Restoration Angel from Alex. Alex is being a big meanie face. We can't really see his cards. No. But it, we see the Restoration Angel in play. Uh, dealing Jari three damage, taking him down to seven. That is very much burn range. This Angel's not going to be otherwise uh, valuable. Uh, because there's a uh, Putrefy. Joey's hand, yep. So uh, that's going to likely be the only three damage that Angel is doing. So Alex is going to have to. Uh, Pillar U. Yeah, Pillar U. Snapcaster. Uh, Snapcaster. Pillar U. Pillar U. You're on Down three. Down three, and does he have a Searing, Searing spear? spear? 
Yes, and it does. That'll take us to game two in a blazing fast game one. Of course, like you said, Joey, just not on the, the cards. He needs to drew the wrong half of his deck. That's the thing, yeah. you know. John, very, very powerful. A lot of really strong cards. And, uh, you know, sometimes you draw the wrong half of your deck. Sometimes you, you know, your mana's shaking. You don't see your far seeks. We didn't see a far seek there from Joey. Not mm -hmm. that, uh, I, I don't know that the far seek would have gotten him out of that situation. Uh, yeah. Really, all that much. Uh, he may have been able to cast bonfire, the bonfire earlier, earlier. Yeah. Which could have uh, been so, relevant, but you know. Uh, so while these uh, players are sideboarding, yes, we are going to ask you guys a trivia question. We are. So uh, another trivia question. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to ask you one question. You're going to uh, reply. Yep. Uh, make sure you use the the hashtag SCG Premium. Yes. So basically, we ask a question. You guys tweet your answer with the hashtag SCG Premium, and uh, you don't need to you know, tweet it at SCG Live, you just need to include the SCG yeah. Premium hashtag. And Any answer that includes that will be counted. That's it's right. not a race. Nope. Uh, you have until the end of this match yep. uh, to get your answers in. Yeah, and we will choose one random correct answer to win three months of premium here in the quarterfinals. Uh, keep in mind, if you don't win, uh, you can still have more chances to win premium access. Tomorrow morning, we're going to give away six months in the uh, semifinals, and then during the finals, we're going to give away a year. And we're going to do the whole thing all over again in the uh, Legacy Top so 8. Six so, six chances to win this weekend. This is yeah. the first one. Yep. So, so get your get your answers in. So for three months of SCG Premium, uh, we've, we've got a couple Grand Prix lined up. Summer's looking really exciting. Yeah. So got, three weeks is yeah. Grand Prix Miami. Right, That's I was going to say, we, right, right now we have Grand Prix Providence going yeah. on, Grand Prix Gothenburg. We have, uh, we have Grand Prix, uh, we have another Grand Prix coming up, Vegas. That, yes. That's the one I was thinking about. Yes, yeah, so coming up. And we have Grand Prix Miami, as you yes. mentioned. Uh, Vegas. Grand Prix Miami. Uh, lots of cool stuff there. Yeah. Uh, uh, cool what? artists. Yeah. Uh, cool art yeah. Cool, a lot of meet and greet new new tokens. Uh, we're we're going to be doing coverage. Uh, Star City is going to be running the event yeah, and doing same, the coverage. So. Same uh, fantastic uh, judge staff that uh, we get for all, all of our Star City Opens. So the question for uh, for three months of SCG Premium is what format is Grand Prix Miami? So uh, there's a Grand Prix Miami fact sheet if you go on the front page of StarCityGames.com. Don't make it so easy. You, you have the internet could be at home. Don't tell them to use the internet. They might not have even remembered. <laughs> Listen, so, I, I have more faith in you than Joey does. Use, I'm just trying use to your protect internet. our premium. Protect the premium. Somebody's going to win. <laughs> I guess we are giving it away to somebody. It's, there's no way to protect it. No nobody nobody's answered it answer. right, so I guess nobody gets the premium. So, if you want, if you want, I want you to win premium. Joey doesn't. I do, I do want you to win premium because premium is awesome. Yeah, so get your answers in. What format? Grand Prix Miami, three weeks. Uh, use the internet. Yeah. You could use that. You could use the internet to answer us with Twitter if Twitter is. Uh, yes, you, you need to use Twitter, so the <laughs> internet is very important. <laughs> it's, it's an open book test. Yes. <laughs> so, let's go to back, the sideboard. Back to the sideboarding. Um, so, what kind of Geist of Saint Draft? Huge card mm -hmm. for Alex. Uh, what does Joey have to combat that? Uh, well, also keep in mind that because this is a top eight. Both players have access yes. to each other's deck lists. They know exactly so, what the other player is up right. to. So we can try to do a little so next every, level. So every tool next. in your deck is available. Right. Or uh, is known. Right, exactly. So Joey's sideboard <clears throat> obviously can't target the uh, Geist of St. Traft. Uh, he can slaughter games it if that is a big problem, if that's something that he wants to do. That's not the best answer. Real issue is that it's more expensive than exactly. Geist. Exactly. You're losing a lot of value. Yes. Also likely... Uh, Alex plays Geist, and then you play Slaughter Games. Yeah, that that's some, yeah, that's very not very good. good. But you know, it's something. He's got Gaze of Granite, also very expensive answer yes. to Geist. So we have two it, answers. It will, that, it's a basically a six mana diabolic edict. Yeah. When we're talking about Geist, uh, he's got one copy of Barter in Blood. I, I would imagine that is probably. One of the few cards that uh, Joe is actually going to bring in. Yeah. I could see another but, copy of Ground Seal. Uh, it gets the Snapcaster Mage portion of the deck and it cycles. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, I was just you just asked me about answers to Geist. I was just going down for that. Right. So you know, again, we have another mm -hmm. expensive answer to yeah, Geist. Yeah. Bard and Blood is basically the only one I real. Bard and Blood, Ground Seal, maybe Rakdos Return. Okay. I like it. Um, I don't see any other cards. 
Uh, you maybe duress as a potential answer. Right. I think Can't duress the would come in them. with ground seal. Mm -hmm. But neither neither of uh, Joy's Joy has four discard spells. Uh, he has two duress and two appetite for brains. Neither of them are going to get the most important card. So I think uh, Joey's going to want his lean on his Hump Masters and his Thrag Tusk to uh, to block Geist of Sand Trap, yeah, that, that, which makes a lot of the other stuff uh, more appealing. You saw that you, basically Joey drew most of the cards that are just very bad. Yeah. Against uh, Alex's deck in game one, the Tragic Slips are not very good. The Abrupt Decays are not very good. Uh, the Dread Boar is not particularly great. Seven the Bloodline not great. Like Mizzy and Mortar is not great. Mm -hmm. Uh, all these cards, like a lot of, uh, lot of Joey's spot removal right. is not good against the Snapcaster Mage, uh, Thunder Maw Hellkite. We'll need some answers to that, but Putrefy yeah. uh, is generally the best answer. Restoration Angel needs some answers, but uh, not many. His, his best answer to Geist really is a dude, and he didn't see any of those last game. So. Uh, Alex Blackheart, on the other hand, has... Uh, his best card is likely to be two clone. Uh, he can copy either Thrag Tusk or Olivia Valderin. Mm -hmm. Thrag Tusk will leave the Thrag Tusk battle at parity. Uh, Olivia Valderin will go the way yeah. of extinct creatures. The way of the old legend rule. Yeah. Uh, yes. Pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> um, other than that, uh, maybe that one possible screen. turn and burn. Uh, he. His sideboard has both turn and burn. Mm -hmm. I he did not cut his card in half. <laughs> but uh, turn and burn uh, also a decent answer to Thrag Tusk. Uh, just this just and Joey Mispigel just has bis just been crowned the Burger King <laughs> mid round <laughs> mid round here mid match uh, while uh, while they were sideboarding. I don't know if it was something he did while he was sideboarding that that uh, you know. Yeah, made he, him deserving of the crown, I, or maybe it was something I earlier, believe, and it's just taken this long for the I crown. I believe, to come yeah, out. I believe that Joey uh, is well deserving of the title. Oh yeah, no, Burger King. Can't uh, disagree. I just was curious what exactly it was that um, you know, maybe the crown just just came in the mail. You know, one of right. Those. I I bet Alex is intimidated at this point. Yeah, it's kind of like um, a Super Bowl ring, right? I mean, pretty much. He probably probably did whatever it was a long time ago, and this, the mm -hmm. coronation just happened to be right now at uh, mm -hmm. Star City Games Standard Open in St. Louis. Yeah. Uh, however, Alex uh, can drive some confidence. He has the best card on either side of the matchup. Uh, Geist of St. Trap, huge problem. And we huge, saw it happen in game huge one. Huge problem, yep. yes. And uh, looks not like a, not Alex a super common card in Standard. So we have some uh, actual off-camera match Off-camera action. We'll bring up uh, Casey Hanford up a game. He is playing the Act 2 deck. Yes. Um, uh, he is playing Who is his opponent? Because we don't have the, the brackets over I here. believe he is playing as John Milner. Okay. If I'm not, if I'm oh, not here's mistaken. Oh, bracket. How good am I? You were right. Oh, wow. Fantastic. So up a game, John Milner playing Naya Blitz. Uh, probably did not have the champion triple or <laughs> the one the, land triple champion draw. He had a he had a game earlier on camera. Uh, was it on camera or off camera? Because I just no John story. John did. Okay. Uh, he went. He had his opponent on one mm -hmm. on turn three. <laughs> probably did not have that draw. I'm gonna say if he had that draw, he probably could have finished out that game off. But uh, we're underway in our current feature match. And I um, think Joey went to six. Is that uh, confirmed? Yeah, Joey went to six, trying to get a better hand. Uh, then he started with game one, and we have. Uh, Alex trying to draw two cards, but did not successfully draw two cards, or yeah. unsuccessfully draw two cards. Yeah, uh, contrary to popular belief, both players do not start with staff of Nin in play. So here comes a Farsi from Joey. I mean, that's kind of like one of those reasons why players, like you can see Alex when he goes to, uh, take note of when, he, when Alex goes to draw a card, he'll slide mm -hmm. it along the table. Right. So that way, just, just if he sure. accidentally slides two like he did last turn, yep. he doesn't get any penalties or anything like right. that. It's very easily fixed. So the far seek for Joey, the far seek that uh, was missing from game one, mm -hmm. is exactly where he I wants to be here. I think Joey has a bunch of lands in two. his hand now. So he his mold of six was mostly mana. Not a bad place to be because he's got a Rakdos return. So he uh, three lands he, Rakdos return. Yeah, that's what it, that's what looks like his spell. So he's just gonna uh, 
hope to dodge Geist of St. Traft until yeah. he can cast well, that Rakdos' jo return. Joey's when it really good off the top. A Jund yeah. is really good off the top. So, uh, it's not a, a terrible thing to be just playing off the top when you're Jund with a bunch of lands in play. I think uh, Rootbound Crag off the top there, so yeah. we're just going to see land go. Mm -hmm. way, too, way too early to pull the trigger on uh, basically Mind Rot. So, Alex could have the Geist here. With four copies of Geist main deck, very likely that he... Uh, it was a very confident keep as well. Yeah, and three mana, here it comes. That ain't no Boros Reckoner. Nope. Geist of St. Traft. As you mentioned, probably the best card Ooh. in the entire... Uh, it is in the matchup, but Joey with Joey the probably best the best, probably the best, probably the best possible. Yeah, the only I mean he could have cast Liliana, that would have been a reasonable answer. Yeah, he has a one uh, copy of Liliana, that's but, better. But yeah. other than that, best best possible. Like it's better than Thrycusk, in my opinion. Uh, simply because we know there are copies of Turn and Burn mm -hmm. in Alex's hand, so eventually yeah. that could just get kicked out of the way. It also puts a lot of pressure on Alex to. Continue to play spells when he may want to hold up counter magic. Yeah. So Depending on his hand. Land. I've seen, I think I see, yep, there's two copies of Turn and Burn in Alex's hand. So maybe he just casts both of them and attacks. Yeah. All right. Looks like that's the case. He's going to burn Huntmaster. <clears throat> You're going to use the burn spell uh, named Burn. Yes. So just burn Huntmaster. Um. And burn, burn the wolf. wolf. So yeah, home master the full two for one. Yeah. And I mean, but it's a, it's not always about how many cards you have. It's well, none of Joey's cards matter if uh, none of them match up with guys the same trap. Right. And uh, you know what Alex doesn't know, and we do, is Joey now really needs to find uh, an answer to guys. I think Alex played two lands that turn? Uh, I think he did too. He played Glacial Fortress yeah, and then he played uh, Sacred Absolutely Contra, two lands. Because so. he played Geist last turn. Right. And there should only be uh, four lands in play on Alex's side. Yeah, good call. There's the uh, the Rackers' yes. return, yeah. and you know as soon as we can get them to stop, hopefully they'll uh, they'll figure this out. The fact that the Sacred Foundry should be in Alex's hand, which of course is a little awkward. I don't know how many cards he has in hand, but if that's the fifth card, <laughs> Joey probably is is. I mean, Joey, they should have... absolutely be allowed to back up. Yeah. To uh, the point. Yeah, there we go. Joey's pointing it out. That's. You played. That, that, yes. That yeah, he went Glacial Fortress, Burn, uh, then a second copy of Burn, Attack, then he played a uh, Sacred Foundry. So. Alright, so. Uh, we'll see what the. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual what penalties are, is, if, yeah, if that's very easily undoable. But, I mean, it's cl very clear that. Yeah, I don't what, think it was intentional. You know, yeah, it's just one of those. Definitely that, not. You know, you're not. You're not yeah, m m most mistakes are not uh, yeah. intentional. When they are intentional, they're cheating. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, and with the Farseek throwing off the land count too, you know, he, yeah, he looks across he say, the table. Oh, you have five lands. I can get five lands too. Yeah, yeah. And very easy to to mix that up when, when the Farseek. Yeah, involved. with the, you know, some players are getting more nervous in you know higher stakes matches, which this absolutely is. Uh, most of these players like a top eight yeah. match. He's not. Yeah, he you know, he's like, yeah, I probably do that. Uh. So, uh, if you're just joining us, you're just in time to catch the quarterfinal coverage of the StarCityGames.com St. Louis Standard Open Series. Uh, I think we're going to come back to the booth here while these guys uh, take a little break from their match. Uh, there are far less Burger King crowns in the booth. I'm but sorry I think, about that. Yeah, I think you'll have to make do. Of my Azorius pin. I have no guild pins. I don't even know what guild I would be. You have Demir on the inside of your jacket, don't you? Just no. Saying, no. <laughs> of course, a Demir person would say. I that. know. I would just lie and say I was another guild. Yeah, that's if true. I was that would be. That would be. Just, or you could just say, you know, keep up this whole thing. Like I would just lie if I was another guild. I would just say, you know, if I was Demir, <laughs> I would just have another guild, right? No. Demir is full of. Uh, very tricky. Very trying tricky. To next yeah. level me. Yeah. I think the Let closest me see the inside guild. of your coat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing got it like in his collar yeah. or something. It's actually <laughs> tattooed on the back of your neck. Isn't it? That's why you have that ponytail. Uh, you found me out. <laughs> <With ponytail? laughs> no. Uh, I think my guild would actually be Simic, but yeah. I'm not. Uh, sorry. So I think. Yeah, we're we're, we're uh, 
back end back up here a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like Joey's uh, untapped, has five lands now. Okay, so he, they just undid everything. Yeah, and put now... A card, put a card back on Joey's deck, and Joey still wants to Rakdos Return yeah, for four. Yeah, same thing's gonna happen. Um, so, discard one. You got three more to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rakdos returning you for four. That's all of them. <laughs> That's everything. There's a, a, Ra a Ralzeric. Yeah, Ralzeric, a Syncopate, Syncopate and, and a Detention Sphere. Yeah. So, so Geister Saint Trap versus a bunch yeah. of uh, lands. Yeah. I like Geister Saint Trap. Right now, I mean, what matters is what's on the table, and Joey doesn't have an answer for it. I mean, despite the whole I'll wreck your hand thing going on, Alex is wrecking Joey's like total. I mean, we're a Thraktos Grow Hunt Master away from this game being. Uh, Heavily favored for Joey. I 100% agree. And but it's a land go, and he's got a putrefy, putrefy, so that'll fog the uh, the angel token. Now uh, is a uh, sacred nectar. I believe is a gain four. Was it life first? Was that the life one? first? Life first yes. Was one that uh, Ruben Unfortunately, mentioned. you do not gain additional life with additional life bursts, as we found out <laughs> in game one. Putrefy the angel token, as we suspected would happen. So yeah, Putrefy is one of the eight. good removal spells left. Wow. Another Ralph's Eric. And uh, it's Bolt You. I, I like uh, the Bolt You immediately because you're, you're likely to give out, ooh, seven of the bloodline. And, and that's, that's it, Alex. Blackard that's the game. With the win very quickly over John, I mean, 21 minutes, I, I think, you know. Might, a might good be a chunk record, of that was, yeah. was sideboarding and a little pause when we... Yeah. Uh, look, the crown, the, the king has yeah. uh, <laughs> ceded his crown to, uh, to Alex. I think Alex needs to wear that crown, though, now. I mean, he needs he to... he got to win the tournament tomorrow. All right, well, he's, he's got... Joey had it here, I mean... Yeah, uh, so... You get a trophy for winning. The crown, you know, just goes... Uh, for this the, match? The quarterfinal crown, apparently. All right, so we'll come back to the booth. All right. That was, and, that was yeah, that, kind of... Much faster than I expected. 